hello guys welcome to my youtube channel it's a girl matinde coming across my channel for the first time kindly consider subscribing like and share and for my returning viewers thank you so much god bless you and bless you abundantly so guys yeah i'm at the construction site you can just see yeah, i'm coming from uh, live from nyabohanse village kenya yeah currently here i'm at the construction site so this good news like we got good news because like i haven't updated about the borehole the progress of the borehole i haven't updated about it so let me <coughs> let me share with you the good news of our borehole so guys you can't imagine what like you know we found a stone after 20 feet like more than 20 feet like 20 feet down we found water but there was not enough water yes we found water but the water is it seems like it could dry anytime you know we are on a rainy season so we weren't sure of the water because it looks like it's because of the rainy season the water now was in the borehole so we decided to we have to add like more feet so that even if it's dry, drought season we can have uh we can have water so when they were like continuing digging you know charles and gideon they found a stone and <laughs> they just left there they couldn't go further so but lucky enough we got our men here our, i call them supermen <laughs> yeah they're supermen guys because like seriously they can like they break stones me i was like really yeah because i saw them from the from fellow the boy so i decided like i got the same same problem of the stone so he decided to chip him to communicate. I communicated with Philo the boy and then he assisted. He lent me their numbers and yeah. So guys, so let me just show you what's happening. Let me let me just tell you and show you what's happening on our ball. And I got them here actually. Shkamo. Kuema vipi? Kunaendeleaje na kisima? Kunaendelea vizuri. Unaona maji chini yanatoka mengine kuna drone inatoka kwa ndani ya mambo kwa chini. Kuna mambo tena ile ya juu inatoka kule mlimani. Aha. Tunaona mambo yatakuwa mazuri. Tu ndio tutaone tutaendelea kiasi gani. Oh. So he's saying that there's good news cuz he sees water like sources of water have increased. You know we got one source so now they they are talking about three sources. So lucky enough like unaona sasa tutamalizana na hiyo jiwe lini? Hmm. okay so he's telling he's promising us that tomorrow he is going to take to see the progress of the stone because today leo me chimba futingapi three oh tattoo okay so they have like today they have dug three feet and wow so you can see <laughs> <laughs> Cindy, you know, not you coach in. Okay, so he's telling. So, Usini and B isn't of it to Zenia to Natoa. Easy, guys, imagine this is what we we are getting from our. You cannot imagine like this. This is a stone, a real stone, guys. Like for real, for real. Like I'm not lying. Like a stone. You can. Can you hear? Stone. This is a stone stone guys and they are breaking it you can see so this whole of this like even here these these all these things they got it from the borehole guys so let me just so this is our borehole inside there so you cannot see because it's a bit deep you can't you can't see it's really dark so guys this is what we have gotten this is what we have gotten from our borehole I just hope that there will be good news from tomorrow and head forth. Like, to keep here, kama siku mbili, sitoko tumemaliza na sinu. Okay, so he's telling us that tomorrow, maybe we're going to live from Sirare border. You can tell from the background. And, uh, yeah, I am at the, not Ruby. <laughs> I came to the hardware and it's like... <laughs> okay, it's called Manchester. Manchester or Manchester hardware. Yeah, so that's the boss. And I was purchasing something here. I think we should go and I'll tell them from I will show you from home what we purchased. There are pipes here and we got another another pipes here like this. So yeah, we want to take them home. 
and we do the fixing guys so, <laughs> so guys yeah so this is what i brought i brought so we got the receipt here yeah today is the 30 of may 2023 i purchased from manchester enterprise Sibania, Migori county so we got this this is a pvc i think this is a four watt a four inch <laughs> 90 degrees or 45 whatever so the i purchased two of them these ones are two we got blocks there are three blocks so okay one block goes at let me check here what bend elbow 300 or this one so this one one cost at 500 each one or 300 elbow four this one cost at 300 so there are two like this and we got this one the bend elbow four inch 500 and there are four of them yeah so let me two three four and we also have a uh, PVC inch bent two. So this one, 45 degrees. So this one is 90, bent 90. And this one bent 45. Four of them, one, two, three, four. So these one are four inches each. You can tell, yeah? Yeah, so we got bent 45 bend 90 and a T 4 inch and you also got these blocks guys we got three blocks so one two three and we also have a, a bath trash this one yeah this one cost at 750 here yeah the plug cost at 250 each yeah and we got the two inches two inches bend 90 of them again two three four and we got bend 45 two one two we got this one the t one this is two inch spike guys this two inch spike got two yeah and we got these this is a tangent gum it costs 600 this is a tangent yeah so this is what you'll be using guys so this is what i've purchased <sighs> for our plumbing <laughs> yeah so you are going to do it let me show you let me show you the uh, progress of our chimney my head my head drop let me let me place somewhere here so guys we are going inside it's so dark so dark so let me use this torch so guys this is our chimney this is our stove you see you see it yeah so i i got another phone here i'm using to light because so dark so you see this is our stove so yeah we will we will do a slab like here we will make a slab like the outside let me see. let me see how it tell here like here here like this so that when we'll be putting firewood it will not go like down like this so it will support like like a slab for supporting the firewood inside right yeah so we will put it so you can see take a look of it. it's good so guys yeah we <coughs> after so you can see the, the chimney how we made the chimney guys yeah so this is this is the iron plate i don't know how i'll, I'll cut let's let me just try so dark see so it's rotating guys like it's really rotating yeah so when it's like this that's when you know it's closed but when it's like this you know it's open so let me close it like that so this is our chimney up all the way up all the way up guys all the way up like this and you see it's covered it's fully covered from there and i think 
yeah so inside there can you see it's like you can't see very well so guys yeah after after plastering after plastering that's when we will going to to smoothen our stove like we are going to smoothen it after plastering we are going now to smoothen it and to make it round to make these holes the stove holes to be really really round very good yeah and we are going to plaster no after plastering the kitchen like after plastering the whole house the kitchen yeah we are going to we are going to make now the slab the stove the firewood stove slab very smooth yeah so i think i've shown you and oh, it's beautiful i'm happy <laughs> it's real beautiful guys you can tell it's just because it's so dark but i guess you can see how how it's it's good it's good i like it it's good oh, it's good guys i like it i really 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 like so let me oh so dark so let me turn let me turn the so let me show you something let me show you something yeah we're closing let me turn off gideon's phone yeah so <laughs> that's our chimney and guys let, let me show you from the upper side we also extended it we elongated we did what so it's there up there so guys don't worry about the lead the lead is there the lead is there it's just that we left it to get dry so tomorrow they will they will fix that lead the chimney lead it will be fixed guys you see yeah it will be fixed see from there you can see it yeah so apart from something else going on mm -hmm, we got a plumber <laughs> we got a plumber guys and i <laughs> don't worry he knows how to do his work so let me just show you what he's doing and i think his work is good he's doing it good so guys <laughs> i was telling you we got a plumber yeah and we had to learn like not learning but we have to follow simple instruction like i i just realized like if you set your mind to do something and you are serious with it you can achieve it so let me show you like we we were doing it with him so let me show you what we did guys <laughs> i hope we did it with, like i gave it my all we gave it our all so let us show you what we did so this is what we surprise surprise my people my good people so yeah guys we fixed we finally 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 we have fixed the pipes do you know that yeah we have fixed the pipes guys and i'm so very much happy like we are we were able to do it like when you set something you will achieve it and you give it your all you will do it so you see starting from here guys yeah like this even i know everything here like i i know even these sections like whoo so this bend 90 bend 90 degrees and this is a four inch pipe huh? so it's coming like this and get a jointer here and it goes like this so this pipe will remain up like we are going to re return this soil you see this soil we are going to return it inside here like on the lower part like here so this pipe will be upper and this soil will be down so that we don't want to bury this pipe we don't want to bury this pipe you know the benefit of this pipe is that we yeah we have blocked it like we have closed it you see it's closed you can open it yeah so we have closed it so in case i, I want a biogas from our biodigester what i'll do is just mix my what i will do guys if i want um biogas the only thing that i will do i'll just mix our i'll just mix cow dung and water and then i come i pour i pour to that tank to that pipe sorry not tank pipe i'll just open it and then pour there and even the kitchen materials like leftovers you know the sink cannot 
accommodate those left leftovers the sink only pass what water pure water so yeah those leftovers also i can just mix them with water and then i come i open this pipe i pour so this is the benefit of this this pipe and also so also if in case like in future if we will add another house maybe it, it will be located like this side yeah if you will had if we will add another house like this so it it will make it easy for for joining because because this the main reason is that you is the center of everything here guys you can see you can tell that the biodigester is the center of everything so if we left if we leave this one this one this one pipe it really means a lot to us so in case we add another house going like this the pipes just run coming here so this is the benefit so it has really it's advantageous for us to leave it there so also so <coughs> that part is blocked yeah we have blocked it so the next step we moved like this with the, with the four inch pipe like this so so this is a high quality pipe like it's good it's really strong yeah strong pipe like this and you meet our first first toilet okay you can see the plumber <laughs> the plumber is plumbering what are you plumbering <laughs> Okay. I'm the <coughs> pipes. Okay. Um, you just I'm greet my people. Pipes. Greet first my people. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> yes. Yes. What's your name? I'm Gideon. <laughs> okay, continue their work then. Yeah. Okay. You fix first from down. I'm coming. Let me explain Gideon, to them. Yeah. yeah. So here I was telling you that this is the first toilet. So. The first toilet for now we're not going to use it because yeah we'll, we'll use it later like we have blocked the we have blocked here you see we have blocked it there so we are not going to use two toilets like we are going to have only one toilet and it will it will fit us for now yeah and then later we're going to add another one so so later if we add we just bring the toilet and then you you fix inside there so we did the piping so guys you can see they are slanting they are in a slant motion such that when the water will be just flowing it will come like this so easily and also if you can see it's slanting like this so it will go downward so there we'll dig going down a bit yeah we'll dig there it will go down a bit so that it can be in a slanting mode like this you see so it will just water will just come like this and then slant going like that so the same same way it will happen to the second toilet guys you see so this is the toilet that we will use guys this is the toilet that we we will use this is the toilet that we will use and guess what <sighs> yeah we will just install the toilet there and then every trash will come to the biodigester so <clears throat> this is a four inch pipe and yeah the bendings we got the 90 degrees bending the one that has joined yeah, the one that has joined this pipe and this pipe this one and also there are another one there so i i think it's good that we left like 18 centimeter from the wall so that in, when we place our toilet here because we are going to add okay let me let me let me let me let me let me explain to you my people so here we are going to add some like some soil we are add we are going to add soil because you remember <coughs> remember the pipe has to pass has to be in the middle so you're going to add soil like until i think until this plastic here yeah, because now after doing that they will make a a slab yeah they'll do a slab and put a flow yeah so this pipe will be in the middle so you're going to what to dig there and fix it very well and also so this one this pipe these are two two inch pipe guys yeah these are two inch pipe and this one is a four inch pipe so these are two inch pipe you can see <laughs> my plumber <laughs> Oy, i got a husband called gideon don't worry <laughs> so you see <clears throat> this one is we have joined there 
so this will be flowing will be locating water to come directly to the sock pit guys so this one will go directly to the sock pit this is our sock pit we covered it with the we covered it with cement bags so that all the soil that we are using we are removing can go inside the those bags so later when we are done with the, putting the pipes we can uh, we will remove them yeah we will, we will move the the soil so that the soil cannot enter the stock pit right we don't want the soil inside the stock pit you only want water so the main reason why we have placed you see this this pipe goes direct to the sock pit you can you can tell you can just see this pipe goes direct to the sock pit because here we'll have a wash basin guys i don't know if this is the right the right what the right pipe to put or what join connector so but just know that just indicating i'm just using it to indicate where the wash basin will be so yes mister you come now You know, Fanny? What? So you see, so this one I'm just we are just using it to sh to like to I'm just using it to show you like where the wash basin will be. So it's like the wash basin will be here. So this wash basin will just water will just go like it will just flow direct to the sock pit. So the wash basin doesn't have it will not carry waste like waste that will need to be to be recycled or to be broken down so yeah not need breaking down of the waste it will just go directly to the sock pit same 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 process applies to the bathroom same process applies to the bathroom where water will come directly to the sock pit so i'm passing guys i'm passing yeah, so what will just come direct to the sock pit and <laughs> yeah, this plumber of ours. So let me show you what he did. You can see keenly we got two pipes. So this one is from the the toilet. It will come from the wash basin and this one is from the bathroom. And that is a bath drain. Bath drain. Bathroom drain. This one. So he has fixed. So down here lies a pipe. This pipe. This. This pipe yeah it it is running downstairs like this so this the same way he has covered this pipe you see how he has covered like you can't see anything that's the same way he's going to cover the whole of these pipes guys this one like inside that that pipe the other pipe so the only pipe that will be remaining is the pipe that are inside the biodigester hole because you are going to make slab for them so they will be made there was there will be a slab in the biodigester and there also be a slab at the sock pit and the sock pit will have its, its own lid and the biodigester will also have its own lid guys so that's a bath bathroom drain yeah so after they will be put after slab and the floor and everything i think the only thing that will be remaining is this one that will be seen this one so you can see the this whole place will be eaten so in case of blockage, they'll just, we'll just be opening here, just the, this upper, this upper lid is, is removable here. You just open there and then you see what's wrong with there. So guys, uh, <coughs> you can see that's the progress. That's how far, how good we have done it. So you're going to cover the pipes inside the toilet, toilet one and toilet two. We are going to cover them, We're going to return the soil and cover them very well. The only pipes we're not covering is this inside the biodigester. We're going to have a lid. So the lid will close everything here, guys. Yeah, so <coughs> this is a pro. So far, so good. That's what we were doing today. <coughs> My voice. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you for being there for us. Thank you for your help for your support and your love you have shown us yes mister <laughs> so thank you so very much i really appreciate your love and support guys and may god bless each and every hand that that's what <laughs> you are this so he you are <laughs> who can translate it for me kuchangia <laughs> what's that in english huh Thank you. I've been to, as you see, Mr. Gideon here is telling me. Okay, Kushangia in English means contribute. So, 
thank you so very much each and every hand that has contributed in in one way or the other you know even prayers are contribution yeah even praying for me or praying for us is a big contribution liking subscribing is a, another contribution sharing my video is another contribution so guys i'm so very much thankful for everything and i really appreciate each and every one of you and i really love you my youtube family yeah i really love you and i wish you a good day today and i can't forget i can't forget our our um, our stronghold all our strong defender <laughs> no that word i'm fine i'm just trying to find a correct word to use like 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 which word can i use like thank you so very much for always being there with us i really really appreciate your love and support our yeah, biggest yeah. supporter yeah let me say supporter that's a good word and our dearest dear dear support <laughs> our dearest dear supporter thank you so much for everything for making sure everything runs smoothly and everything goes good really appreciate it and don't take anything for granted so far so good everything is running as planned we thank god and we thank you people we thank everything 